Hey guys, what's going on? Trouble here today. We're going to be playing some Farming Simulator 2019 here on the Rolling Hills map. Once again, for another episode, we have lots of episodes. And we got our corn ready to harvest, we got our sunflowers ready to harvest, and our beans way over there ready to harvest. So what we're going to do today is obviously harvest. Probably do the corn first. I think we'll go do sunflowers maybe. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to fire up the engine and we are going to lift the head I think we'll do corn in this video on squad farms and then if you guys want to go see some sunflower harvest go ahead and go over to my channel link in the description or the card that popped up in the beginning of the video go over there and yeah so then we'll have soybean harvest or not soybean or yeah we'll have soybean harvest back on here and then we'll probably have another haying video on my channel so or maybe clean up not entirely sure yet but we do have to get the corn off so that we can get the bales stacked off the bale trailer. And yeah. So we're going to fire this up and we're going to get it rolling. Now, the one reason, I know you guys have been asking if I can make longer videos. So this combine is actually almost out of fuel too and the maintenance is pretty good. But anyway, the reason a lot of you guys have been asking is the little short 10 minute videos and one reason is that I can post two videos a day one on here and one on my channel so I'm making basically what I'm doing is making money on here and growing my other channel because I'd like to grow it and someday hopefully have a career and do this for a living just make videos on stuff maybe vlog I don't know when I get a high school probably vlog do farm sim too it'd be nice just to chill, sit back and do farming sim later and it's easy to get, and then of course you have school to play in, because I'm still in school. So you have that to think about. So you kind of have to manage school and work and YouTube. So the best for me is just basically sit down and record after I get done with school, edit, render it, get the thumbnails edited, and get them uploaded overnight. And then the next day, come home, do the same thing because if I make a 30 minute video you usually have to record for an hour to get a 30 minute video basically what I do because you can't just really sit back and record like back to back at least for sure so it's usually about two hours by the time you get two videos two 30 minute videos done and it really doesn't bring in it brings in some more views because they're a little longer and all that but really you don't get that much more audience retention which is basically audience watching I found out that if you do like 15 minutes then you get drop it down to about 20 percent audience retention and I'm getting the average usually people watch like three minutes of the video two to usually three usually three to like four minutes in between there somewhere and so really if you make a 10 minute video you're really not wasting much time because if you make a 30 minute video and not a lot of people watch it you do get a little more watch time but it's just not that much to deal with the extra work of it because you really don't get paid much because there's a small percentage we'll say 10 percent watching past 15 minutes to your end of your video which is probably 20 or 30 I could bump it up to 15 or 20 minutes and do it that way but I'll probably what I'll do in the summertime is probably make 30 minute videos 20 at least we'll see how it goes I'd like to do daily vlogs well not necessarily daily but weekly like kind of Sunday fun day stuff or maybe like twice a week it just depends because we do hay we do uh, hay in here on the farm or I do it all by myself I mow rake bale all that by myself do all that and then of course we spray thistles which is you got in the pasture spray the weeds and kill them that's pretty well boring and you kinda have to stay focused to spot the weeds out and stuff so I'll probably do like one of them maybe two of them just all depends who's all with me because that we all basically do in a group we have like four four wheelers and we all just go out the first first time that we hit it the first time around so there's we usually do about three rounds total usually the third round gets kinda forgotten and then sometimes we'll hit it with a spray plane at the end, like at the fall time, like harvest time. And so, so we'll do that. But yeah, so basically my summer 
is the beginning is kind of slow. Well, depending on how long we plant. So we plant from April. We usually like to start about April 15th, but this year, since we're kind of short on money, we probably will start, we'll try to start at the 15th. And we PMI everything, like most of our tractors, so that they're, you know, ready to run. And we know we won't have too many troubles. We might have a few troubles here and there, but it's not like anything major to put you down for a long time. Especially in haying, because you got to get to the field at the right time when you are haying, because it's a certain dryness. It's either basically how haying goes is it's either too dry, too wet or it's too dry, and it's you got to find that fine line of both. And if you break down in the middle or the baler breaks down, it's quite a pain to try to get that back. So you either end up baling it too dry or too wet normally. We try to like, we like to do it too dry because if they get too wet then the bales get hot and sometimes they'll catch fire, sometimes they won't, they'll just get hot. And that isn't good when they're all in a giant pile. When 40 bales are in a line, two, two column line like those straw bales, when they're like that they kind of get a little warm and they get a little hot so that's really not too good on but I'm kind of just rambling around about different things different topics just because you know something to talk about and yeah because today is pretty much going to be harvesting this video harvesting harvesting in the video so I guess I could talk about harvest we're actually going to be about full here good thing I started on that far end we'll go ahead and shut it off there we'll back up and yeah, I'll probably talk about harvest a little bit and just kind of ramble on. If you guys like me just talking about my farm and all that, what goes on during my day and stuff like that, let me know. I can talk about some more. We're going to get into 4650 here and we will hook up to the gravity wagons, get them hooked up, and we'll get it unloaded. So this is the new 4650. Some of you guys have seen it. Some of you guys might not have. We went ahead and bought it. It's one of the newer mods out there. The lights work on it. Um, yeah. Go ahead and shut that off because we can probably just do another round and dump on the wagon. So, we'll probably have to fuel fuel this year. I'm guessing after bean harvest, we might as well just fuel it up. And since we have money, we'll probably repair everything. Uh, repair the combine, repair the headers, repair the 89. But yeah, we're actually going to be spreading dry soon here in real life. We have to get our spreader out, pulled out of the snow drift. Because all our equipment sits outside because we don't have enough money to, for sheds, for buildings. Because buildings are expensive and you basically don't get a lot of money on the bad years. Especially this year, since it ha everything got hailed, everything was bad. It wasn't that good. It was at the point where your insurance would cover your insurance would cover it, but it got hailed to the point where you kind of didn't get that much from insurance because when you, we'll say you contracted it at something. I'm not going to say what, but we'll say a hundred bushel. Just to make it simple. You said, or something, I don't know exactly how it all works, but I kind of know how to explain it. We'll say that you got 100 bushel yield on this crop, but on a normal year you get 200 bushel. So you're making 100, 100 bushel profit off that field. Well, if it hails and you get 50 bushel off that field, then the insurance guy will pay you that extra 50 bushel, so that way you will kind of somewhat break even or you pretty much do break even because you got seed you got all this all that stuff to put in for so then you have all that plus your expenses your fuel your maintenance your repairman your hired help all that which we don't usually have a lot of hired hands we usually have about one we usually have a truck driver we wish we had two truck drivers but we just it's just hard to find them in small towns hard to find good help anyway you can find 
some bad help, but that's usually never good. So yeah, that's kind of how that works. So then, basically this year we got, let's say we got 102 bushel yield, so the insurance man really didn't pay you much, like we'll say a couple hundred bucks, just because you didn't get full yield. They paid a little bit, but it was still, it was basically enough to break even, but not make any profit. That's what I'm trying to get at. It just didn't, you just didn't really make anything that good. You just broke even. So hopefully next year it'll rain a lot. We'll get some good crops. We'll get some money in and hopefully kind of make up for the lost year. What sucks is you have to wait a full year, but we'll see. Maybe next year will go good. Um, yeah, you just never know about farming. Some days it'll be good. Some days it'll be bad. You just, you just kind of never know. Maybe one year, you know, everything crashes and you lose a bunch of money and maybe the next year it'll be awesome and make seven dollar corn like that one year. That year was a pretty good year. Um, but yeah, so I think this year we're going to have a good amount of breakdowns on the planter for sure because it's pretty well wore out last year and we'll probably fix it up a little bit but not enough to make it completely through without anything breaking. Usually we have some shear pins break, but that's usually minor. Um, a few bearings always go out towards the end because we run 1,500 acres through a 12-row corn planter. Because we plant about 700 of beans, 700 of corn, and we split beans sometimes. So like when I get out of school, then I run the drill all day long. We, usually, we can get all our beans planted in three days. We did it two years ago. We did it this year we didn't do it because it rained in the middle but we pretty much did it in four days so that kind of helps when we got the drill and the planter running this year I'm guessing the drill is probably going to run pretty good because it's brand new it's pretty much brand new I think it's got like two two thousand acres on it and our old drill had like a lot of acres on it I don't even remember the number but it was a pretty big number it was probably in the um I want to say a hundred thousand but I feel like that's too much but there was a good amount. There was like way too many hours on that thing. Or not hours, acres. Because it's got a little wheel tracker. I like that drill. It's ground driven. Simple drill. Put it in the ground, take off, you go, you plant. This new one, got a few electronics on it. Not as much as the planter does. And I'll, if I make some real life videos, I'll, I'll tell you guys about all this electronic stuff. Again, probably kind of cover some of it. But this one's got a older school, like analog computer some of you guys know what that is rather than digital like it's analog and digital but this is an analog so it's kind of like a com old computer where you have to push like a bunch of buttons to program so it's kind of like that and yeah it's it's like so then you got your dial you got a dial in the middle I could tell you a few of them but I don't remember all of them it's been a while since I've been drilling actually we drilled in the we made a drilling video on here and you guys might have saw that monitor on the side. On the side of the console by the ag leader, the big screen, and then there's that little bit there, and then the sprayer controls are under that. So that tractor we actually use quite a bit. It's a pretty junk tractor, that MX. It doesn't like to run. In fact, right now it's got a hydraulic leak on it and an antifreeze leak on it. What they did, they tried to copy John Deere, and John Deere isn't good. So... Yeah, so then that's what they ended up with. That's what Case ended up with, was a junk tractor. But the newer Magnums, they're a little better. We broke down one time. We actually broke down, we broke down twice. And it's got an error code on it now. Something about the def and all that. But it's got weird, it's got some weird troubles with it. So the def code's going on now. Uh, that's pretty easy to fix, take it in. And for some reason, when you're going down the road, it just automatically dies. Like, the engine dies down to RPM, like 1,200. And if you shift down gears, it'll rev up. It won't come to a full stop. But it'll just, it'll, it's kind of wacky, you know. Newer technology just is like that. It's kind of just, just kind of strange like that. It's, I don't know what it is about it, but it's terrible. So, we're going to go ahead. We might finish this cornfield. I think I might just move on to sunflowers and do all this in a different video or something. 
But I think we'll go ahead, sit back, relax, pick a little corn, maybe on my channel. I'll probably ramble like this on the other channel too. So we're full. I wish we could have let it heap up, because I could have made it to the end. If we could have let it heap up. I uh, thought I was going to hit the bales there. So we'll get this unloaded. Uh, we'll probably go sell the grain quick, because it's full. And we'll pick another load of corn. So I'm going to go ahead and get this unloaded. Okay, so we got this all loaded up. I think we're going to start out a hired worker. We'll go cut that little nook off there. And get it rolling. And if you guys do want to see some real life farming videos, let me know. I'll probably try to make some. It's hard to make it when you're the one. When you're the operator, it's hard to do it. I do have a drone, but that's kind of the same way. It's hard to operate a drone and the machinery. Even though the drones, the drone footage is really cool, maybe I can get somebody, maybe I can get someone to ride with me and do the drone, or maybe do it for me. We'll see. But we're gonna go ahead and back up. Actually, probably should take some more of this off. We'll have to clean it all up later, anyway. Go ahead and do this, and pretty straight line there. Let him run. We got the bales all there. We'll probably unstack them. Stack them too. Fire up the old 4650. Take her into the elevator right over there. There was a great demand. Don't know what that was about. If it was for corn or what. But it just said great demand. So we'll take it over there and we'll see how much we get for the corn. Okay, so we're rolling in to the Rolling Hills Co op. We kind of pull to the side so we can get this unloaded. Hit the brakes unload the first hopper and you can make this like this uh, flipper deal come down I don't know what you call it a chute make that come down you probably make it work and yes yeah, so we have 0.9 hours on this tractor the reason why normally you'd have more I think we had like four or five Ooh, that unloading though well I thought it unloaded from the center but the reason we have low amount of hours is because I put it on a server this on this save game on a server and forgot to put that and the wagons in the tractor and the DMI's in and so we had to rebuy them so I went ahead and rebought them that's part of the reason why we're in debt actually didn't get a lot from them we might get a bin so might have to get a bin but anyway if you guys did enjoy the video hit that like button and if you want to go check out the rest of my video and hear some more farming stories we will be talking about them over on my channel so Hope you guys did enjoy. If you didn't, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And we will see you all next time.